The border is closed. The Canadian-U.S. border crossing near Emerson, Manitoba is blocked in both directions as protesting over vaccine mandates continues. Semi-trailer trucks and farm equipment are blocking Highway 75, Manitoba's main port of entry between Canada and the U.S. RCMP dispatched officers and negotiators to the blockade early Thursday morning. Uh, trying to establish communications with uh, the organizer of the event to determine what their intentions are. Is this a daily protest? Is this something that perhaps they want to have long term? RCMP officer Paul Manag says criminal charges under the Highway Traffic Act for impeding traffic could be applied to those participating in the blockade. The RCMP say their main concern is the potential impact traffic blockades could have on emergency vehicles and ambulances trying to move through the area. We're going to have a zero tolerance for that kind of blockade or anything and we're going to make it aware if, if that kind of impedance on these vehicles occurs... Uh, most certainly you'll see either arrest or charges. Unfortunately, some of our local businesses are affected by this. Dave Carlson, Reeve for Emerson Franklin, says he hopes people on both sides of the protest remain calm. Carlson says the highway being blocked is a key route for locals heading to work and accessing health care supports nearby. Everyone has the right to, to have their voice heard in this country. That's what it's all about. Uh, but at the same time, we also want to make sure that uh, people can come and go as, as they need to, especially our emergency services and our citizens here. I support them 100%. Romana Jacques, owner of the Emerson Inn, says she is happy to see the truckers blocking the road if it brings an end to vaccine mandates and health restrictions in Manitoba and Canada. I am against everything, everything the government has done, to masking, to having to be vaccinated, to go anywhere. I am just totally against it. But not everyone is supporting the protesters. One Emerson citizen who isn't sharing his name over concerns of repercussions says store shelves are emptier every week and worries stopping or slowing border crossings will have a negative impact on the community. The concerns are like uh, how long it will go, like uh, go for a week or two weeks. Maybe the grocery store will be out of supplies. Calvin Gertzen, Manitoba's Justice Minister, is worried about the negative impacts on the province if the protests continue. I am concerned uh, that this is going to uh, go on a long time uh, and in a way that it's going to have reputational damage to Manitoba and to Canada, uh, that's going to have economic damage. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.